You want to know what kind of impact AI tools have on developers? Well, so this team from Microsoft Research, they even did a study on it and created a paper. And I can't believe we skipped over this. Uh, this came out a couple months ago. And it has clear proof that AI tools are actually helping developers do their job. I mean, you can kind of guess that, but some people are still unconvinced. All right, here is the paper. And we've got an abstract right here. How did they do this test? This was a controlled experiment using GitHub Copilot, which, as you know, is an AI pair programming. If you've been watching this channel, which is, you know, I've done a few of these videos on Copilot. And this was a test where they picked random people and they were developing an HTTP server in JavaScript as quickly as they possibly could. And simply put, the AI programmer group completed the task 55.8% faster than the control group. That's a pretty huge and significant difference. This is an exciting finding uh, because not only does it really put a stamp on what we've suspected all along, but it actually shows that developers can produce code much faster. And this was just with Copilot. Uh, there's also Amazon's Code Whisperer, which just came out. I made a video comparing the two. You'll find a link down below. That one looks pretty good too. And I bet all these new tools are really gonna improve the way we develop. This will work in many different IDEs that people use today, including Xcode, which uh, has a separate plugin that you can use. I made a video on that too. Find it down below. So many videos on this channel. Why are you not subscribed yet? Are you subscribed? Let's dig into this a little bit more. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, GitHub Copilot is still using Codex, which is OpenAI's previous engine that's tuned and trained for doing code related tasks. It's not yet on GPT-3 or GPT-4. Copilot X, which is a new thing that's coming out, you need to sign up for it. It's not publicly available yet, but it will be soon. That one is using GPT-4. So right now we're talking about only Codex. And in this trial, programmers were tasks and incentivized to implement an HTTP server in JavaScript as quickly as possible. It didn't say whether they're using uh, Express or not, using Node, probably though. But the control group did not use Copilot or any AI tools. They could, however, use the internet to do the searches or use Stack Overflow to complete their tasks. So basically the, the old school way of doing things. I know, I know, you're gonna make comments at me. That's fine, I'm okay with that. And this study concludes that the performance difference between the treated and control groups are statistically and practically significant. The treated group completed the task 55.8% faster, 95% confidence interval of 21 to 89%. So who benefited the most from this? Well, developers with less program experience, older programmers, and those who program more hours per day benefited the most. That's an interesting one. Older programmers would benefit from this uh, because they would be looking stuff up less because they're forgetting stuff. I'm, I'm just kidding. I could be considered an older programmer now. I feel for you. But no, <laughs> older programmers tend to have more experience, so they're benefiting from this as well because they're writing sometimes boilerplate and tedious code that, that could be automated now as well. So they're benefiting. And those who program more hours per day, well, you should probably get up and take a break. Come on, folks, you're working too hard. But this probably means that they're overworking and they're working so hard and they're tired. So a co-pilot kind of gets them going. And uh, I bet companies would love this one. Get them working more because now they're getting help, <laughs> free help. Now about the study design, there were two metrics being calculated here for performance task success and task completion time. Success was measured as the percentage of participants in a group that adequately completed the task. And completion time was the total time that it took from start to end of the task. Now, it doesn't say exactly whether they used, whether they gave them a template or not, because there's lots of different ways to implement an express server in uh, JavaScript. Somebody might have found an old Stack Overflow post that showed outdated instructions, then they had to redo it. Some of the newer developers probably would run into that issue. Or or are you listening for just an HTTP GET? Or are you implementing all the REST endpoints, like GET, POST, DELETE, UPDATE, all those things? I wish it gave a little bit more description on what they were implementing, but it says that they were given equal tasks, whatever that means. Ah. Here we go. This is useful right here. We included a test suite in the repository comprising 12 checks. I like how this is written in proper grammar. Comprising 12 checks instead of comprising of. I always see people use it that way. But anyway, because they gave a test suite, developers had something to test against. And success was measured when the 12 tasks 
were successfully uh, tested. Did I just say that right? So participants could see the tests, but were unable to alter them. This explains a lot of the questions I had, so that's, that's good on them. And then they used GitHub Classroom to run automated tests on the submissions. This is very cool. This was timed as well. They can get the final time of uh, how long it took them to complete this. Most of the participants were in the age range of 25 to 34, come from India and Pakistan, where there is lower income Income generally, the median yearly income is between 10,000 and 19,000 US. And the group had an average coding experience of six years. And they spent nine hours on coding in a usual, a typical working day. Here's an interesting table that was included. We've got the experience years, age range, income level, no college, and how this will affect the results. This table basically suggests that the developers with less programming experience are more likely to benefit from Copilot and those developers above age 25. I guess they're considered older developers. <laughs> <laughs> the implications of this study are pretty huge here. Not only is it proving that these AI tools are actually helping developers, helping us code faster and better. I should, I don't know if I should say better. Should I say better? Faster. <laughs> but faster also translates to better in some scenarios because the faster you can iterate, the faster you will fail and the faster, well, hopefully you won't fail, but the faster you do fail and failure leads to improvement in code. You know, once when you're sitting there and you're writing, a, I don't know, a, a function and it takes you maybe a good half hour to think about the function, implement it, and then when you run the test, it fails. Imagine cutting that time down by 55.8%. Maybe it's going to take you, I don't know, 16 minutes to write that function instead. Well, you've just done the same thing, but you failed faster. And now you can get back to fixing your whatever your mistakes you made. Or maybe Copilot helped you actually create that function and have it be correct faster. This is still young technology, folks. This is only going to improve. So it's a good thing to know that these AI powered tools are actually making us faster developers. But as we've seen, they're not necessarily making the best coding decisions, but that's going to improve. So what's significant about this study is that it was done and that it was the first one done. More studies are probably going to come and hopefully we'll see some huge improvements with Copilot. X. I'm looking forward to it. I'm on the waiting list. I'll be reporting here what I find as soon as I get access. Thanks for watching, folks. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.